how can I run an entire SQL file full of SQL statements against my SQLite database? I'm your host, Sean McKenzie, and today we're going to take a look at how to use Execute Script with Python and, and SQLite 3 uh, so that we can execute a whole bunch of statements all at the same time and uh, that will definitely optimize uh, the way that we handle our SQL statements. And so without further ado, let's get to our Execute Script in Python. Need help coaching on your project? Make sure to check out my Patreon, the link is in the description. Okay, so I'm starting a new file here. I'm using uh, Python 3.9.2, and uh, this is the 64-bit version of Python, and I've installed SQLite, um, and so I'm going to import my uh, SQLite 3, and then uh, from there I'm going I'm to import uh, error as well, um, so that I can just uh, uh, report an SQL error if we get one. That's going to be very handy for troubleshooting if we need it. And uh, But definitely very simple getting started here. You can see it's just two import statements. And I'm going to go print uh, starting. That's going to give some feedback. I'll set up a variable uh, for the connection. That's a CNN there. And then I'll put the uh, file name in with a fully, you know, like a full Windows path here. And um, that's going to be to the MySQLite da database uh, or .db file that we created last time in our last SQLite video where we sort of explored just creating an uh, SQLite database and uh, putting, you know, a table in there. And today what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to run a full script uh, that's in an SQL file um, like, you, like you would do with normal sort of database operations as a DBA. Um, and so we'll use a try, accept, finally um, set of or, or blocks. And what we'll do is we'll do uh, with open, and we're going to open that file. And that file is, uh, that's this uh, part map SQL. So as you can see, um, this uh, SQL script creates a table called MFR parts and then it's going to insert a whole bunch of rows into that table um, that and actually we we used that on an earlier episode in another database uh, where we did sort of recurs recursion um, uh, but what it is is it's a, a list of parts for a, on a fictional aircraft wing kind of thing um, you know like you might have in 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 a manufacturing database so We'll do our connection is equal to sqlite3.connect. We'll put the file name in there, and then we'll give some more feedback to the user. And then we're going to use the SQL that we created, that uh, variable called SQL there, uh, that we uh, got from the file where we sucked all the text out of that, that text file or SQL file into that SQL variable. And we're going to use the cursor to to do uh, execute script, uh, which is going to execute the entire script. And you do have to remember to make sure that you run a commit after you run the script uh, so that those changes will be committed to the database, um, especially for inserts and updates and all those kinds of things. Um, DDL will get committed right away. Uh, so if you do create table and stuff like that, it does get committed. Uh, but the, other the uh, SQL statements do not. Um, unless you use a cnn.commit or unless you set auto commit equal to true at the beginning of your um, at the beginning of the procedure. So we'll, in order to look this up, we'll we'll go ahead and we'll change our SQL and we'll go uh, select star from manufacturing parts and uh, we'll do a cs.execute this time to just execute a single statement. Then we'll fetch all um, into a rex variable and then we'll say for rec and rex. Uh, we'll print that off and see uh, each row, hopefully, that got into the database. And, uh, and then we'll go back to our, you know, our try accept uh, blocks here, and, and we can, uh, we'll do accept error as E, and, and uh, then we'll print that off if we get an error. Um, and then finally, this will, uh, we'll, you know, if the connection is there, we'll close it. 
Um, and, uh, and then that's sort of like in the end of the, the procedure. We can print off, uh, you know, print done on here. Um, and uh, at the end of it, we'll put that in the finally block actually. So it'll only show that, um, uh, well, it will show it in every case, uh, but it'll print off the, uh, the error. If we do get an error, um, it's still gonna close the database and it's gonna say done at the end, uh, but you will know that you got an error because it printed off. Um, and so we can add a little bit more uh, detail in the sort of feedback to the console, uh, selecting from new table just before we select, just in, you know, so we know where we are. And if we get an error, it'll either be after or before um, those print statements. Now we will check that uh, file name. We'll see if that'll run. It should run without having the C and colon on there. Oh, okay. So when I hit F5, um, this one ran just fine. Um, it, it added all the records that we wanted and it, and it got to the end state there uh, to be completed. And that's exactly what we wanted to see. Um, now, if you don't know the location of your, of your SQLite file uh, for a lot of these, so in this case, you can see that we didn't specify the path to this, uh, this part map SQLite um, file here. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rerun this whole thing, um, and I'm going to take the path out of the other variable just to, just to demonstrate that if they're in the same folder where the script is running, you don't need to specify that, uh, that C and then, you know, the dev folder and all that stuff. And so in order to rerun this, uh, I'll remove all of the, uh, the path information there. And then I'll just, uh, you can see it's the same as the file. Um, and so I'll check that. And this, it's the same for the other one. So when I hit F5, you can see it's all there. And w when we use with open, you can see that is also um, just using the same directory as the executing uh, Python script. And that's how it's done. Looking for additional programmers for your project? Make sure to check out the additional links in the description. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how to use execute script against SQLite 3 in Python. If you like what you saw today, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click the bell when you see the bell, and if you have any questions or comments, put those in the comments below. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.